months old now? Yes, you are growing so big. Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So in this video, I will be sharing with you Hope's 2 months update. So Hope will be 3 months in a few days. So I thought I'm gonna share with you first her 2 months old baby update. She turned 2 months old on April 25th. And yeah, she's really growing fast. So I'm gonna be sharing with you some of her milestone at two months old. And uh, yeah. So at two months old, first of all, she doesn't look like a newborn anymore. And in her two months appointment, we learned that she has grown healthy and she has gained weight so but at the same time we were still advised to supplement some formula when she was two months old i started to to give her formula only a few times a day so i do not give her formula every feeding anymore so because the first advice was to breastfeed first and then to give formula right after the feeding session when we think the baby is still hungry but right now I do not give formula after feeding anymore so what I did was I only give her twice a day so I give her formula right before going to bed so I give her 90 ml of formula so first I breastfeed her and then after that I give her formula right before bed so and then in the morning when she wakes up I give her another 90 ml formula and that's all and during the day I only breastfeed her so that is what I did uh, during her two months old and so far it works well and I don't think that she's still hungry because I think my breast milk is okay now and I think she gets enough um, food from me but yeah I still give that formula during the night because I think that giving formula before bed keeps her like sleep longer during the night and actually I think it helps because I put her to sleep by 6 30 we started her bedtime routine by 7 o'clock I give her the formula and then barp her and then I put her to bassinet awake and then she fall asleep on her own and I have been doing that routine since the beginning so we are doing really well in the bedtime, uh, bedtime routine and she's sleeping really well at night now so she sleep by 7 until 7 30 she's already asleep and then she wakes up around 12 30 it's not the same every night uh, it depends uh, on the day so sometimes she she wakes up 12 30 in midnight or sometimes one o'clock or two o'clock and sometimes she she sleep until 4 a.m in the morning which is really good when she wakes up during the night, I breastfeed her right away and I also give her the milk that I pump during the night before I go to sleep because around 10, 10.30 in the evening before I go to sleep, I pump and then I just leave that milk and then when she wakes up, I breastfeed her and at the same time, I give that milk and then she, after feeding, she goes back to sleep right away and then she wakes up in the morning around uh, 6 o'clock 6 30. sometimes when we are just at home i just leave her awake for a while and then i let her go back to sleep until nine o'clock so her day we start at nine o'clock 
uh, those days when we don't have to go to the daycare or when we just stay at home so we sleep until nine o'clock and also when she was two months old that was the time when mayo was in on holiday so we can sleep in until late until like nine o'clock in the morning so and irene really happy and surprised when one time she sleep until 4 a.m and it was like oh my god this is the beginning and i really hope that this will gonna continue she was doing that a few times but at the same time it also happened that she wakes up 1 a.m or 2 a.m so it really depends during the night when she's gonna wake up so aside from that one at two months old she started to smile a lot and she started to coo and she started talking so it's really cute when i started to talk with her and she replies and she smiles a lot and when i smile at her she she smiled back at me and it's really nice and she really like like you know um engage in a conversation with me or to anyone who who would like to talk with her so it's really nice and yeah and she stays awake longer now and she likes to play in the play gym and uh, tummy time so we do tummy time a few times a day and she is really good at lifting her head now so she has really good head control and actually twice i saw her also like roll over on her own from the front when she she was on her tummy and then going to her back so i saw that twice i just didn't managed to catch up on camera but at two months old she managed to already did that yeah and also at two months old she is she wasn't she is not so gassy anymore and like when she was one month old like a few weeks old she was like fighting all the time and cried and tried to like pass that gas out from her belly but now she's getting better and also at the same time she doesn't have so much problem with her nose with her breathing anymore and yeah a few weeks a few weeks ago she had this really bad you know breathing she has this tough, tough you nose, know, so we had to always clean her nose all the time like every night before she's going to sleep we have to to clean her nose so she can breathe freely during the night when she's sleeping so now it gets better and that is really good nice her eyes i think i have mentioned this on her one month old update that she has this when she cried and she has these tears the tears will gonna turn into like yellow dirt her eye in her eyes and it's it's really not nice but the midwife said at first that we're gonna be like probably gone when she is three months old but i don't know she still have it until now and like i just wipe it from here to there and like this i just wipe it whenever her eyes is dirty and so far there is no infection the her eyes are not red and there's no infection it's just like the you know, midwife just said that it's just normal yeah so i think that's all for the milestone at two months and uh, one thing that is very memorable and um, big happening at two months old was when she was baptized at two months old she was nine weeks old when she got baptized and it was really nice that finally finally she got baptized and finally all the stress were gone yeah two months old she really is growing so fast and one thing that i really love when she turned two months old is when she smiled a lot and talk and like she engaged in a conversation and it's really cute and yeah she's awake more during the day and sleep well during the night so the best or another best thing is that she sleep longer at night like she sleep from 7 p.m until 2 a.m or 1 a.m and sometimes 4 a.m so that is really like really helped me to sleep too so at two months old i finally managed to have a good sleep during night and have time to rest so if you ask why we put her really early bedtime at seven o'clock well the reason is that i want her to to get used to sleeping early because it works really well with rosie before that is what we did so by 6 30 we start the bedtime routine and by seven baby is already asleep so when baby is asleep early it means you can also rest early so yeah 
during the day we are really busy and it takes so much time this breastfeeding you know and yeah i feel like i cannot do anything during the day when i feel like i just always like breastfeeding her and like that so when i put her to bed at seven o'clock and that is the time for myself to rest relax and at the same time to do things that i need to do around the house like hang the laundry or do the laundry or clean or pick up the toys around in the living room clean the kitchen the dishes and everything like that so that is the time when i can do the, all those things of course i can do that during the day but it's not the same as when she's like really like you know sleeping like i don't have to worry when she's gonna wake up like soon she's using newborn number two diaper and she poop every other day and all the time she poop like two to three times a day but every other day so it's not every day which is i think it's normal so we have been walking a lot lately because the weather is really nice it's warm and sunny so it's really nice and sometimes i i leave her outside napping in the stroller and that is really nice now it's summer here so she can take a nap outside while taking some fresh air and it's really good to to you know take a nap because here in finland we normally just leave the baby outside to to sleep even during the winter time so it's not a bad thing and it's actually a good thing because baby can have some fresh air at the same time they really sleep well outside so yeah it's it's nice um yeah i think that's all for her two months old update guys and i'm gonna try again to update with you her three months update so i like to do this baby update so one day i can look back and watch this again and then i'm gonna remember what had happened during this time and yeah all right guys i think that's all for her two months old update and i hope that you enjoyed watching this and i hope that you if you are a mom and if you have also a newborn i hope that you learned something from this video and to to know what to expect for your two months old or your baby who is going to be two months old so thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you next time bye